Godot 4.0 is expected to release sometime in mid-2021, but before you get all excited and switch over as soon as it releases, if you're making a game in Godot right now, here are three reasons why switching to 4.0 could potentially break your game. The first reason is that Godot 4.0 will bring some pretty significant name changes to a lot of commonly used nodes. Nodes like the Spatial node and the Kinematic Body node will be renamed to Node 3D and Kinematic Body 3D respectively. And this is going to happen for a couple of other nodes as well. As far as I can tell, this won't change the way the nodes work, but if your code relies a lot on hard referencing other nodes and node paths, then this could potentially break those references. This is mainly going to affect 3D developers because it's most mostly 3D nodes that are being changed, but 2D developers should be on the lookout for possible name changes coming their way as well. The second reason is that in 4.0, there will be a few changes to the way GDScript is written. Most of these changes are pretty small, like having to put an at sign in front of onReady, whereas before you didn't, but you do have to make the changes or your code won't work anymore. The main issue is that currently there is no official way to automate making all these little changes to your code. And so if you've got a huge project and you've already written 10 or hundreds of thousands of lines of code, you're going to have to do it all manually. You could probably spin up a script in Python to do it for you, but I'm not currently aware of any built-in way to make the transition. Additionally, I don't know if these changes extend to C Sharp or any other language you may be using that isn't GDScript, so make sure you do your research. Finally, the last change I want to talk about is that GLES3 support is planned to be removed, maybe not in 4.0 itself, but in future updates. Currently, you can choose between GLES2 and GLES3 as your renderer, but in Godot 4.0, GLES3 will be removed and replaced with Vulkan. If you are currently working on a game using the GLES3 renderer, it is recommended you stick with whatever version of Godot you are using right now and only use 4.0 for other game projects. I haven't been able to find much info on how much backwards compatibility there will be in Vulkan, but odds are you won't be able to just switch over without breaking a few things. If on the other hand you're using GLES2, you're probably going to be fine continuing to use it in 4.0, but again, trying to port your GLES2 game over over to Vulkan in the middle of a project might cause you some problems, and so that fabled performance boost you keep hearing about, you're not going to be able to take advantage of it until your next project. In conclusion, when Godot 4.0 releases, if you are already working on a game and can't afford to start over from scratch, stick with the version you are using right now. If on the other hand you really want to start working with all the new technology that's coming with Vulkan and you don't mind starting over, then go ahead and make the switch. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, bell, links to my Twitter and Discord down below, and as always, have a nice day.